Virtual systems ready. Guys, it's me, XPC. Have you ever wondered why after two years when the Fusion Fall game shut down, Fusion Fall Legacy then showed up? Well, this is because there were many other projects before Legacy, and you may not know about some of them. Well, today, along with my two very special guests, we'll give you a little timeline of what happened behind the scenes before and after Fusion Fall shut down on August 29th, 2013. But first, we gotta go back in time to 2013. Cue the Song of Time. I'm here with Tech the Noob. What's going on, guys? What's up, Tech? What's up? Great meeting you at last. Yeah. Alright, so... Be here. Alright, so uh, Mr. N uh, Tech here is going to give us a little summary on Project Revive, the, a little movement back in late 2013 before Future Fall shut down. So according to Wilt, uh, Project Revive was a movement to keep Future Fall going in order and like to convince the devs to like keep the game going. But you know, y'all know what the outcome was. Yeah, and uh, that was. Uh... Basically, at that time, um, Cartoon Network pretty much was kind of slowing down with the updates. Um, and uh, Devin got the idea, hey, let's get these devs showing them, um, not, not to be rude or anything, but just show them, hey, we have these ideas that can be implemented. This will be good. We can get some content fresh. We want to revive the game, hence the name Project Revive. <clears throat> it wasn't an effort to recreate Fusion Fall ever. That wasn't ever the intent um, at that time. But uh, a lot of the stuff they had wound up doing was trying to get um, new ideas flowing. So Devin had sat down um, and started a dock, and I actually had Jordan in with trying to help him. We just kind of sat down, clicked away at a couple keys on the keyboard, talking about what, what our goals were. Um, and he came up with a mission statement talking about that exact topic and we talked about a Dex Lab upgrade 2 which never happened obviously and it was called fighting hard and looking good and included inside of it were um, ideas as such as uh, a Dr. Barber where you could change your hair skin and face and all that stuff and uh, it cost you know 10,000 taros Skin would cost 50,000 taro. That's just an idea. <laughs> so you couldn't change height, weight, or gender. Um, but it, it was just an idea that he had come up with. And then we had placed the idea down. Um, as he started going through, he found out there were like these glove animations or whatever. Or, I, don't, I don't know if it was an animation. Yeah, it, yeah, it was animation. Um, for the actual gloves, like there were glove items. So he was like, oh my gosh, we should totally expand on this idea since it's there. There's stuff there. And uh, so he went in and he was basically coming up with all these glove items. We sat down coming up with names, you know, um, iron glove, witch hand, wooden knuckles, you know. I came up with levels for him. Came up with a character, an NPC with uh, little scissors above his head that I wound up photoshopping. And... Uh, Want to also have an image where it kind of showed what that screen would look like. It showed, welcome to Dr. Barber's surgery and haircut. Kind of gave you an overview of what was going on. But yeah, I mean, that, that was kind of the start of it. Um, we did a lot of promotional videos. Um, created a lot of 3D models such as like Laszlo, Mordecai, Bemo, all that different stuff. And then he wound up posting it up to Extreme Fusion Fall forums. And... Uh, at that time, um, we wanted to get people kind of involved with it, so I was like, hey, I'm going to create a change.org petition, and I'm going to get a whole bunch of people to sign it. And he's like, yeah, yeah, do that, do that, do that. So um, I wound up creating that, and we wound up getting some signature flowing, and uh, that was kind of the beginning. That was, that was where it went, and uh, I mean... Uh, that's pretty much the timeline for that, how it began, 
and everyone kind of knows the rest from there. <clears throat> I did sign one. Of, I did make a signature on that, on the petition myself. Yeah. All right. And yeah. I, and uh, people think that Project Revive was like the actual demo that Will Tilt made in order to revive the game. That's not what exactly. That's not the. Oh whole, yeah. That's not what it is at all. It's. It's the movement. It's like the petition and all that. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. That 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 demo, whenever he was coming out with it, that was just ideas that he wanted to wind up um, making. That, that was the ideas he wanted to make to get the de devs interested, saying, "Hey, look, I'm a kid. I can do it. You know, I know you guys can do it. It's not. It can't be that hard. You know, type of thing. It's just again trying to get the devs motivated and wanting to change it." Because if you, if you just say, oh yeah, update the game, update the game, they just get frustrated, roll their eyes, and they're like, whatever. you know. But if you actually show them content and you're like, look, this is our idea, this is what we did, and we think that it could be implemented in a cool way if you do it, in some way, shape, or form. And, uh, you know, so that, that's what that demo primarily is. It's just ideas and collaborations of what he had in his mind at that time. So, yeah. It's good, good good environment <laughs> good workflow for that so and then um you know well most people know what the result was of the petition and the demo you know cartoon network said that all our actions are pretty much useless and they shut the game down and I, uh, I said well there were a lot of factors for shutting down the game it wasn't i know but like, anything yeah it wasn't like they looked at us directly or whatever no i know that but like yeah I know. That had to be a heartbreak, like really. I mean, honestly, I felt so bad whenever that game shut down, and uh, it wasn't until years later that I got to see all of the reactions of everyone. Um, believe me, writing that email out and giving an update: "Hey guys, you know, Fusion Falls shut down," and that 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 was a hard one. <laughs> and so. you run the Facebook page, right, of Project um, Life, I believe. Like, yeah, I mean, we got we got people that um, update on and off on that, but um, primarily, anytime you see Photoshop work, either they got it from me or it's me posting. Yeah, so you know, whenever they're like, ah, we got a screen free wallpaper from FFL. Yeah, I hooked you guys up. I let everybody sit it out. In fact, I haven't even released that wallpaper that's on there up on the forums yet. So anybody who wants it better go grab it from there. <laughs> So. Yep, that's pretty much it, guys. This is the story of Project Revive. Thank you, Tech, for giving us a timeline of what happened. Yeah, no problem. Alright, so next up is Fusion Fall Resurrection with Ekins. I'm here with Ekins, director of Fusion no. Fall Resurrection. No, that, that was more of a manager, but hello, XPC fanboys. Hey, all right. So I'm gonna ask him, uh, Ethan, he, Ekins here, a couple questions about what happened with Fusion Fall Resurrection. All right. So first question: How did you start with Fus Fusion Fall Resurrection? Um, I saw it on the internet, and I made an application. They accepted me. I didn't really know what I was doing. I said I would be a programmer, but I I still have no clue how to program. But I eventually became a story writer guy, but that's not a big deal because the project kind of sucked. That's basically how I found it. Did you did, did you like have fun making the game? I mean, like I mean, there was a lot of stress because people disagreed with each other. Nobody would get fired even if they couldn't do anything. It was. It was alright, we had one guy, we had a few guys who made a few areas that are pretty bad. Um, I mean, it was it was good, it was like, we had a good time, sometimes. I still talk to some of them this day, but they they tried, and I applaud them for that. Might not have been the best, but they really did try. It started, it started when someone posted someone named Omar posted a message to the wiki the fusion fall wiki about resurrection a few people joined specifically Brandon Stefan all these guys Brandon was the director of the project a bunch of people got hired but they really had no idea what they were doing they were like the second 
project ever to try, so of course it didn't really go well. They didn't have any idea what they were doing, it was, but it was it was really kind of an enjoyable project for a while. Besides that, I mean, that's just kind of how Resurrection started and went went on for about a year until it eventually closed after the the, fi the fake, as some people call it, Legacy opened up, which failed too. And then they finally called it quits after I left and a few others left. That's the, the timeline of Resurrection, basically. Not a big project. Not many people know about it. Did, did you think you made the work you did is, like, I guess in a way, like, good enough or like I mean I just wrote stories and stuff Toter made the areas uh, Aqua Benoit Benoit Amoeba made the areas and a few other people helped him code and make textures besides of that I was just I just helped manage stuff and write like write a few storylines and we thought we had to rename the missions for some reason due to copyright, so I renamed every single mission, I guess. It was pretty stupid and time-wasting. Mm -hmm. So... If, if Fusion Fall Legacy was, like, never a thing, would you have would you have kept going with this project? No, I would have quit. I mean, there's no point. It was at the point where they were just denying the fact that the project was done the director gave up. Just was there was no point, so I would have quit eventually. That sucks, man. I mean, they tried. They tried. They gave it they, an effort. Yeah, they tried. I mean, they all had faith. They didn't really realize the skills they needed to make a game, obviously, <laughs> because they hired a random guy like me who didn't even know what he was doing when he said he when he said he could code. So that. That kind of failed. Well, um, I guess we're gonna applaud them for uh, giving it a try, right? Yeah, okay. and Resurrection somewhat factors into the current legacy because once Resurrection ended, that new legacy came. It was Eva and I, Eva Beta and I, cr kind of created it. Then after that failed, all the old developers got together. One guy who wasn't even a developer got them all together and they started that project and here we are now. Alright, so, uh, Ekans here showed me some footage of, well, show me some gameplay of it. Fusion um, Fallen. <laughs> basically, he showed that to me and then, like, I, re I realized how, I guess, it was just not how it was supposed to be. There was a lot of glitches, a lot of crashing. Um, he died. He crashed like I don't know, like four, three, four times in like a ten-minute period while, while he was playing it. Um, I mean, it's just Peach Creek, Mount Blackhead, and an infected zone, but it looks nothing like. Like I'm not trying to give Toter crap because he's a, he's a cool guy, but like it w he's a lot better than he used to be, but it just isn't good. It doesn't look like Fusion Fall at all. And I think you can justify what I just said. Right. Um. That sucks, man. I, I fail project. It sucks, man. No, all, there's been many projects. Revive, kind of failed. The old Legacy failed. Galaxy failed. They all fail. Like the only one that's prevailed so far has been Devin and Jakes and all the their Legacy. And Retro as well. Hopefully. Well, yeah, Retro wasn't, like, a fan-created thing. Well, it was fan-created, but it's not like they, they're making everything everything from scratch. They have everything from scratch. Well. Alright, so let's kind of switch gears a bit. So, so, tell me about Fusion 4 Rewritten. Like, why <laughs> did you do Minecraft with Fusion 4? Um, that, because it's it's Minecraft. It's beyond Missed, but it was after uh, Roxas Angels project closed. Me and Nari decided we wanted to make a server uh, Fusion Fall on. So we worked on that for a while. We had a bunch of friends who joined. That was definitely the most fun I've had project wise. That went on for like 
year and a half, it eventually slowed down once Legacy came because we're like, what's the point? The game is back. We don't need to remake it in a crappy version. But it was pretty fun. We made like 30 areas. We had working guns, texture packs, with credit to decks. He put a lot of textures in there. And then I officially closed it like last week due to retro. That's basically it. We made a bunch of areas there at least. I think we went up to Galaxy Gardens and then we stopped working on it. And uh, yours truly did some work on it. Um, I kind of did some work. Made like a few tombstones and the yeah. <laughs> bone yard and Eternal Meadows. Congratulations! Yay! Remember which was my which was deleted, which was deleted because I forgot to download the files before before the server died. Oh. So sorry about that. Yeah, I, I had some part in it, I guess. Um. Yeah, then I we were fired. I was not fired. <laughs> I, I, just, I didn't know Minecraft, man. <laughs> I cry. Right, anyway, I guess that's it, pretty much. After these two projects died, a new project called Fusion Fall Galaxy arrived. This project came during when the real Legacy was announced. The Galaxy was another failed attempt at a revival, and it was over. Before it started, I think it was like only like two, three people who did the project, and the project only consisted of Sector V, uh, the entire Sector Sector V area, and the game was just not like at all as it was supposed to be. I mean, they gave it an effort, but you know, it didn't work out in the end. Then after that, a new group called Fusion Fall Legacy came on the scene, and but this legacy is not the group that we all know today. This legacy group ha was the, a fake one basically, and these guys kind of stole their name and of legacy because the original legacy had Wilt, Dex, uh, seven three two two or Jakeder. Uh, Eva Beta and Holiday Hero and they kind of started the original one but then this group came in and stole their name and if as you can see from the footage they didn't get anywhere at all they went they only did Sector V maybe more areas that we didn't know about but they gave up after a few months I remember uh, Chris was in it um, Welt was he eventually joined and then Ekins was in it too there were a couple other guys here and there but they all split apart and then after the fake one kind of died down, the real one came back and took over, and now here we are. But I do want to thank the fake legacy for giving it an effort to revive Fusion Fall. Thank you for that. And now, here we are with two Fusion Fall games on the way Fusion Fall Legacy, the real one, and Fusion Fall Retro, which is Fusion Fall before the birthday bash in 2010. Now, I hope you guys are ready to play Fusion Fall Retro in the coming weeks. And on the other hand, with Fusion Fall Legacy, we're months away from a playable demo. And we're going to get to play the full game with new nanos, new characters, new missions, new story. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait to play both of these games. And I hope you guys are ready to play too. So I'll see you guys in-game. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Peace.